ladies and gentlemen, our sixth bout of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Jason Jax. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Full contact at Centre 5. Brad 48 Wharton and Iron Jez Cook here in the commentary booth. And it's time for Trent the Warrior Woodcock, a bit of an FCC celebrity, the only fighter to fight an all five FCC shows today. Trent Woodcock, he always puts in the effort, he always turns up, and he always puts 100% to his fight. And you've got to respect Trent Woodcock for that. Yeah, he's certainly a game opponent and a, a very humble fighter as well. He's had big fortunes here. Um, we saw him at uh, FCC3 pick up a nice victory, but then uh, returned to FC, FC, FCC4 uh, against Jordan Wilkinson and unfortunately lost that. But uh, he'll, he'll look to return here against Jack, Jason Jacks with uh, a return to victory. Jason Jacks, one and one. Team Fight Factory. Beg your pardon, the independent fighter is Jason Jackson. Oh, here's, here's from Team Fight Factory. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm talking rubbish. Listen to Jess. Jess, tell us a little bit about Jason Jackson. Okay, so Jason Jackson, he's got two years' experience. Uh, he's, he's an all round fighter. He's very happy to keep it on its feet. Uh, certainly in the boxing, he's got Baz White behind him. So, you know, very confident. And then. Who, who else but Ali Arisha is his wrestling coach, so good all-round fighter, uh, completely unfazed, uh, he was very, very confident, but uh, yet, you know, we're very respectful of his opponent, appreciates that you've got to be the person in front of you. Trent Woodcock, well, we've, we've known a little about, a bit of, uh, about Trent, but for those of you who haven't seen him fight, he's 19 years old, he's, he's a local boy from Chorley, um, and he's, uh, he's got a, a, a Thai boxing background, so... Yeah, uh, but he'll be happy on his back as well. So, uh, yeah, two all-round fighters, another nice little matchup. Absolutely, you know, Trent might not have the best record, but he's got a lot of experience in there, and that does count for something as we go to MC Jonathan Millard to set this one up. So, ladies and gentlemen, our sixth hour of the evening, sponsored by Body Manners Gym. Three ball number three, three minute rounds and 66. Introducing this, hanging out of the blue corner. Representing Team Fight Factory with his household medal, one victory and one defeat. He's welcome, Jason Jacks. <laughs> and his opponent, I am now in the red corner. He has a mixed martial arts record of three victories and six defeats. An independent fighter, please welcome Trent Woodlaw. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another fight about to go down at full contact. Contender five, Jason Jacks in the black shorts with white trim against Trent the Warrior Woodcock in the black and red. Yep, a featherweight fight here, but uh, Jack certainly looks the bigger of the fighters, doesn't he? Nice leg kick by Jason Jacks. 
And Woodcox looking pretty decent there, defending that takedown. He looks calm, doesn't he, Woodcock? That's what you've got to give to him. He's got the experience now. He's had nine amateur fights. So, you know, he knows what to expect in, 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 in these sort of bouts, doesn't he? Absolutely. Oh, and there's a big knee from Jason Jacks with a big right hand. And Woodcock just coming straight forward. Jason Jacks landing some nice shots there, some heavy shots. But there's a nice ankle pick and Trent Woodcock takes him down. Jacks straight back up, though. Woodcock, though, pulling guard, looking for the guillotine choke. Yeah, nice position here. And the head pops out, and now it's Jax in a dominant position, but Woodcock going for an armbar. Jason Jax slams him down and lands two big right hands. And here come the bombs down from Jason Jax, but he's going to be careful. He's left that arm in again, and Trent going for the armbar. This looks a really nice position, but well rolled out there by Jax. Real nice, and both fighters up to, the, uh, up to their feet again to exchange. Oh, and there's another big knee, and another big knee from Jason Jax. And Trent Woodcock taking some big shots here, but he's still in this one. And he pulls guard yet again, and those legs are up very, very high. You can see him setting that submission up, Jazz, looking to switch the hips for the armbar here. <laughs> he's got it, he's got the arm again. And Jason Jax picks him up and slams him down yet again, but he's going to get turned over. Oh, it's so unlucky there, because Trent was really smart there. He got that little hook in and was able to roll with him, so really unlucky. But intelligent fighting from Trent. Absolutely. Fast and furious action here at FCC 5. Jason Jax and Trent Woodcock not taking their foot off the gas for a second in this first round. You know, what I'm liking from Trent here and what we've not seen for, before from him is that confident when he's on his back. I mentioned it earlier. It, is, can, it, sorry, it can be a really strong position, but you've got to know when and how to throw those manoeuvres. And what he's doing well is he's riding up his opponent and trapping that arm in. And again, searching for the armbar. Those legs very, very high. And then there's some big bombs from Jason Jacks, though. Big bombs from Jason Jacks there. And we've seen Trent suffer when he's been struck like that before. But he's again, now he's going for a triangle. Doesn't get it locked in and he lets Jax throw some more big shots from top position, Jez. Yeah, Jax has got to try and stack him up here. He did it before and when he stacks him up, he gets into a nice position to rain down. If he sits back, he, he, he becomes vulnerable. And look, we see another uh, submission attempt here. He's got, to, he's got to be wise to this because it's only going to be a matter of time before Trent finds something and could possibly submit his opponent. Trent was hooking the leg there to stop himself from being slammed for a third time. Smart fighting from Trent Woodcock, but he needs to stop taking all these shots from bottom position. Last 10 seconds here. Like I said, you know, he's got a heart of a lion, but, you know, there's only so much of this ground and pound you can take, really. Now, this is a very interesting situation, Jez, because Trent Woodcock, for my money, has done a lot off his back there. A lot off his back. Numerous submission attempts. A number of them came very, very close. At the same time, Jason Jacks landed some very, very good ground and pound. A lot of very hard shots. If you're a judge, Jez, how do you score this one? Well, this is the uh, this is the great thing. I'm not a judge, so I don't have to. I get to sit here, have a good time, watch some beautiful women, watch some great fighters, and this is a great fight we've got in front of us right now. Uh, really, really impresses both guys. Um, Trent has, uh, has really, I'm, 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 I'm surprised, but pleasantly surprised by what he's showing so far. Um, calm, collected, and uh, some really nice work off his back. Absolutely. Very, very impressive show from Trent Woodcock. And you've got to give it to Trent, you know. He has seemed to improve every time we've seen him. Jason Jacks, though, I mean, look, you know, you've got to look at how these two guys size up. Jason Jacks, the much bigger individual, the much bigger of the two fighters, much more ripped, got a much bigger upper body, and we've seen that power come into play. Yeah, but you've got to also remember that, though, you know, a lot more muscle means a lot more lactic acid that's going to build up and make those, make those big muscles very tired. So let's not forget that. Absolutely. I'm very interested to see how this second round plays out, Jez. Oh, and there's a big team to the face by Trent Woodcock. Anderson Silva style. Both fighters keen to have a little exchange here. They've had a bit of time on the backs, but want to keep on their feet. Which is where we thought the fight was going to stay. It's a nice right hand by Woodcock there. And these two guys exchanging. Woodcock pulls guard. And you've got to think he's going to be looking to throw those legs up for yet another submission attempt. And I think that was a smart again. You know, he got that foot trapped. He didn't want to waste any time. He didn't want to sacrifice a bad position. He pulls guard. Really sensible, intelligent fighting for him. And I'm impressed. But now it, it, it's, it's with Jason Jacks. You know, he has got that. He wants to stamp some authority. And look, that's what he's doing now. He's raining down some bombs here. Doesn't want to leave that leg in. Trent may be looking to go for a knee bar. No, no, no twisting locks here, remember. 
Oh, and Trent with a beautiful transition takes side control. I don't know what that was, but it looked impressive. I don't know if that was skill, luck, maybe a combination of both. Quite possibly. Hey, he's ended in, ended up in a really nice uh, position here and, and, some, and a lot of time on the clock to establish something. Wants to be careful he doesn't get shrugged off and compromise that position, which he could possibly be here. And the Bulldog choke and he's got him! That was a twist in lock. We're going to have to wait for clarification from the referee there. At first I thought that was a bulldog choke. Then it seemed like it might have been a, 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 maybe a, maybe a neck crank. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but we'll have to wait for the referee's decision on that one. But uh, regardless, a, a great little matchup, some great little, some great work there from both fighters. Trent really established um, that, you know, he's, he's not a journeyman, he, he is the real deal. And uh, he's coming on leaps and bounds, but credit to uh, Jason Jacks, uh, a solid performance and uh, a great finish there. So ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 20 seconds of the second round, your winner, Harry West Dillard team, Jason Jacks!